All right, welcome back everybody. If you're here, then you've made it past the first exam. Unless you're just some YouTube searcher, then welcome. All right, so we're gonna get into a lot of polynomials in uh, for the next sections. We'll be factoring quadratics, solving quadratics, um, graphing quadratics, all that good stuff. So all we wanted to do today is start with the basic of how to add and subtract polynomials and combine like terms. Okay, so what you see at the top here is the definition of a profit function, which we will be seeing a lot in this section. Profit is known as revenue minus cost, which means you would be given a revenue function and you would be given a cost function and you have to subtract the two. And the revenue function and the cost function would both be polynomials. So when you subtract them, you would have to combine like terms and simplify. So what we're gonna to do today is just practice, once again, adding two polynomials, subtracting two polynomials and combining like terms. This will get us prepared so whenever we see the actual profit functions on our notes and homework. Okay. So, we will start with this one. A is 36x squared plus x minus seven plus 28x squared minus five x minus six. Okay, so we are adding the two polynomials together so we can drop the parentheses. So I'll rewrite this as 36x squared plus x minus seven plus 28x squared minus 5x minus six. Okay, now the next thing we wanna do is combine like terms and we're gonna start with the highest power first. Start with the highest power first. So we have 36x squared and 28x squared. And 36 plus 28, gives me 64. 64 x squared. Okay, and then we wanna do x and negative five x because that's the next highest power of x. x minus five x will give me negative four x. And then last is negative seven, and negative six, which will give me negative 13. And that's it. Okay. So that is just adding and subtracting and combining like terms in a polynomial. Nothing crazy. And to be in proper format, you always go with highest power to lowest power. Okay. Next one. B. Negative 4x squared plus 642x minus 215x plus 16,890. Whoa, big numbers, right? Okay. So there's a difference between this one and the one we just did above. This one has the minus sign. So if you ever see the minus sign there, you always distribute the negative to the terms next to it. So we have to distribute that negative. So the first polynomial, uh, we leave alone. We can drop the parentheses. So you'd have negative four X squared plus 642 X. Then you distribute the negative and we'll get negative 215 X minus 16. 890. So now you distributed the negative. All we have to do now is just clean up. Start with the highest power. We see I have a x squared here. There are no other x squareds, so we'll just rewrite it. And then I have 642x minus 215x. 
and that gives me plus 427x. And then the last number is, there's no other numbers around, so we just rewrite it. Negative 16, 890. And that's it. Once again, the whole part of these notes, uh, or what these notes are about, is just to combine like terms, adding and subtracting polynomials, and make sure we are taking care of that sign. So watch your signs. When you distribute that negative, make sure it changes the signs of everything inside those parentheses. Okay. All right, once again, just like the above, we are gonna take this negative and distribute it. First polynomial, is fine. Distribute the negative, negative 3682x minus 253714. All right, so we have distributed the negative. Now it's time to combine like terms. And once again, there's an x squared, but there's no x squared anywhere else. So we'll write that below. And then I have 8,574x and negative 3,682x. Those have the same x term, so we can subtract them. 8,574 minus 3,682 gives me 4892. And last is the constant. A constant is a number without a variable. So last we get negative 25, 3, 7, 1, 4. If you want to put that in there. So we put it in there. I didn't put it in the ones above, but if you want to be proper. Go ahead and put those commas in there. And there's nothing else we can do. And that's it. So that's adding and subtracting polynomials. Go from highest power to lowest power, combine like terms, watch your signs, that's it. Nothing to it. Um, let me get into some definition over here real fast, because I think it might be on your homework. It's just the definition of what a polynomial is, right? To be a polynomial, all your exponents must be whole positive numbers, right? So to be a polynomial means I could have x. x is a polynomial because x is always to the first power. But we never write that one there because we know it's there. x squared is a polynomial. x to the tenth is a polynomial. Even x squared plus x plus one is a polynomial. So to be a polynomial, once again, your degrees, your exponents, your powers must be whole positive numbers. And another way to say whole positive numbers is to say positive integers. An integer is a number. It's a whole number. And if you are a positive integer, you are a positive whole number. But it's just easier to say positive integers. Okay, so that's what it means to be a polynomial. But then there's other definitions of what is a monomial? A monomial is a one-term polynomial. So a monomial would just be x. Or maybe I had xy. Or maybe I had, what, x plus 1. That's just one term, right? Well, I would have to put it like that. 
to make it one term. So that's a monomial. It's just one term by itself. And then we know we've seen this one. It's a binomial, right? It is a two-term polynomial. So a binomial would be something as I have two terms. So I can say x plus 1 times x plus 2. That's a binomial. So I have two terms. That's one term. That's two terms together. OK. Uh, and then trinomial would be 3. Quadnomia would be four, so on, so on, and so forth. So just some basic definitions to go over. All right, next is to multiply and simplify. All right. Okay, and for this, uh, for these examples, we're just going to be multiplying polynomials together. So, to put the business aspect on it, we're going to be coming across something that is called the revenue function, and revenue is always given by the price times the quantity, and usually it's two polynomials multiplying each other. So, doing these examples will help us get us will help set us up to be successful in creating revenue functions. So revenue is always price times quantity. And then we'll come across something called the difference quotient function, which looks like this. f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And this is going to use a lot of multiplying, a lot of substituting. Uh, it's going to use a lot of algebra skills that we have learned so far. Uh, but for now, let's just practice multiplying two polynomials together and simplifying. So we will multiply, combine like terms, simplify. So for A, <clears throat> we have 2x times 5x minus 3. All we have to do is take this 2x and distribute it to both terms, and we're done. 2x times 5x is 10x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. That's it. That's done. All right. Nothing else to it. There's nothing to combine here. If there was something to combine, we would combine it, but we are done. OK. B. 4x minus 3 times 2x plus 5. We are multi multiplying two binomials together, right? So whenever you have the multiplication between binomials, there is a special process. It is your favorite F word. No, not the bad one. It is FOIL. We will FOIL this. So we use the FOIL method, which means you take the first term of the first polynomial and multiply to the first term of the second polynomial. So 4x times 2x gives me 8x squared. And then FOIL, the next letter is O. You do the first one with the outer one. So 4x times 5 plus 20 x. All right, so we are foiling this. And then I, you do inners. So inners with each other. Negative 3 times 2x, negative 6x, and then L means last. The last terms of the polynomials, of the binomials. Negative 3 times 5, Negative 15. Now, all we have to do is clean up. 
there are no other 8x squared, so we, re, we bring 8x squared down. And then you have 20x minus 6x, which will be 14x minus 15. And that's it. Nothing else we can do. Now on the next section, we are going to start with this answer and put it back into that form. But that is on the next set of notes. We are going to be using another special F word. No, still not the bad one. We are going to be factoring in the next section. But for now, we're keeping it simple, right? We're just distributing, multiplying, combining like terms. All right, next is x plus three squared which means we must expand it. The degree tells us how many x plus threes we have. So this says, hey, you have two x plus threes, which means we need to rewrite it as x plus three times x plus three, because that is the same as x plus three squared. And now we will boil it again. So x times x, x squared, x times three, three x, three times x, three x, three times three, nine. Clean it up and we get x squared plus six x plus nine. There it is. Done. So whenever you have a power, that means you must expand it. It would be very wrong to say this, which is a common mistake. Do not do this. Don't, right? Here's don't. Rewrite it as x squared plus 3 squared, which gives you x squared plus 9. A lot of students would do this. They're like, well, it's just x squared and it's just three squared. So it's gotta be x squared plus nine. The only issue with that is it's not because compare this answer with that answer. And what are you missing? You're missing that middle term of six x. So do not make that mistake. That would be incorrect. So don't. You say, hey, stop. Don't. <laughs> All right, just like the above. A minus B squared means we have two A minus Bs, which means you have A minus B times A minus B. Now FOIL it. Yes, I know we are FOILing letters, but it's all about practice, right? A times A, A squared. A times negative B, negative AB. Negative B times A, negative AB. Negative B times negative B, positive B squared. Combine like terms, no other A squared, and negative AB minus negative AB means negative. 2ab plus b squared. That's it. All right. And then f. a minus b times a plus b. So it's already set up for us. So again, we will FOIL. a times a, a squared. a times b. 
AB. Negative B times A, negative AB. Negative B times B, negative B squared. Combine like terms, A squared comes down and now positive AB minus AB, those will cancel. So that just leaves us with A squared minus B squared. All right. And that's it. That's multiplying and simplifying polynomials, adding and subtracting polynomials, which makes for one of our shortest lessons ever. Yee-ha. OK, and that one's done. See you at the next one. We will be factoring next. <laughs>